On this trip, my daughter and I are heading to South Africa. We landed at the OR Tambo International Airport in Johannesburg, where we were met by Solomon, our guide. We then headed to the Creative Art Zone, where young black people are encouraged to express themselves. Along the way, Solomon sang a welcome song. It's just to welcome you. Mm -hmm. I, we normally welcome our guests by dancing for them. Mm -hmm. But I don't dance on Tuesdays. <laughs> oh, you don't dance on Tuesdays? Oh, oh, during the week, I, I dance on, on the weekends. Ah. But the only thing that I can do right now, Mr. Mm -hmm. Simpson, mm -hmm. is to welcome you and your daughter mm -hmm. with a click song. How oh, beautiful. It goes like... <laughs> I'm going to say something. Oh, do you want to sing the song? It's very easy. Hold it, hold it. Yeah. Oh, I can say something, maybe you can say it with me. It's, can it's another it. click. It goes like, okay, how to crack the cabal and cow get the cow with cock cock. Give it a shot. <laughs> no, I'll take it through. Just slow. I'll, I'll just say, okay, how? Okay, what? What? A cacta? A cacta? La cabela? A cabela? A cow getting? A cow getting? La now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, cock, cock, cock. oh wow. Uh, I love it. I love that it. Is I beautiful. love it. It's nice. What you yeah. are trying to say? You are but, yeah. but you're better than the Germans you because the Germans are. Oh, wow. <laughs> wow. Johannesburg is the largest city in South Africa. It is also the economic hub of South Africa. Johannesburg is located in what is referred to as the mineral-rich Witwatersrand range of hills and is the center of large-scale gold and silver trades. Johannesburg is also referred as the City of Gold. We then visited the Nelson Mandela Square. The Mandela Square is a shopping and restaurant hub in Santon, Johannesburg, featuring top brands and upmarket stores along with attractive water fountains. main attraction is the 20-foot tall, larger-than-life Mandela statue, beside which everyone wants to have his or her picture taken. After driving around Johannesburg, we headed to Soweto. The name Soweto derives from the phrase Southwestern Townships. Soweto was originally a collection of settlements on the outskirts of Johannesburg for native Africans who worked in nearby gold mines. The town was created in the 1930s as a black township and became the largest black city in South Africa. Among the residents of Soweto are Nelson Mandela and Desmond Tutu. Mandela and Desmond Tutu lived on the same street. This street is called the Villa Kazai Street. 
and is the only street in the world on which two Nobel laureates lived. Mandela's house is located at 8115 Villa Kazai Street, Orlando West, Soweto, and is located at the corner of Villa Kazai and Ngakani Streets. Mandela, his wife Winnie Mandela, and their family lived at this address from 1946 to 1962. The house is a single red brick matchbox built in 1945. Inside the house, one can see Mandela's bed, stove, and other personal items. Just a few blocks above the Mandela House lies the Hector Paterson's Museum. Hector was one of 21 black persons killed by police when police opened fire on 10,000 students marching from the Naledi High School to Orlando Stadium. The march was a protest known as the Soweto Uprising and was in response to a policy to enforce education in Afrikaans rather than native languages. In this June 16, 1976 uprising, police fired live bullets in a crowd of 10,000 protesting students, killing 21, then clubbed and dragged others through the streets of Soweto. That uprising prompted the world's denouncement of racism in South Africa that ushered the end to apartheid in South Africa. On June 16, 2002, the Hector Peterson's Museum was opened near the place where he was shot in Orlando West. There, Soweto is set against the backdrop of a thriving Johannesburg metropolis. The nightscape of the bustling Joburg is in sharp contrast to the poverty that presides prevalent in the Soweto neighborhoods. Johannesburg, a tale of two racially and economically divided South African communities.